What remains of Edith Finch? So the game just starts like this, no main menu or anything. Yeah, so we did have some flight issues about to... Oh. So it's what? A lot of What's wrong? Isn't going to make sense You're reading your journal. I know, I'm but... I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. So here's where the frame rate's going to be at its worst. Also, look behind you. Before you go. Because there is stuff. So yeah, there's Someone very... Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. There's like only two controls, and that's walk and move. Yeah. Also, there was something to your right behind also you. Also, zoom. Every button in this game, when you try to run, you just zoom because the game wants you to like, My soak brother it all in. disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Okay, missing. Do you have information about Wilton, uh, Milton called the Orcas Island Police Department? Huh. Your brother Milton. Unfortunate. That's such a great view. It really is. I mean, look at this. I lived here until I was 11, oh. but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. But now we are? This is a beautiful flower. This is a very beautiful flower. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. So you can probably tell at this point that every interaction in this game, including opening stuff, is just all mouse movement based, which is great. So yeah, so a uh, thing will come up. My brother Lewis's funeral. Okay. Uh oh. So yeah, you've been you've been gone for a long time, as you can tell. Yeah, because like all the missing it. Um, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Some new rooms in the house, maybe. maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, the mystery is enough to bring me back. The fences. Mhm. Mm this game is does this great job of making it feel very like it's whimsy. But it's very grounded too. Yeah. I you just feel this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. You just feel this terrible, this heavy air of just. I don't mean the forest. I mean just like the whole atmosphere just feels very heavy with like reality. I don't know, but that uh, deer there sort of reminded me of until dawn for a minute. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. So this is now her house. It is. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Uh, the music in this game. Oh, it is an atmospheric game. I'm going up to the garage first. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those I words were. 17? I was afraid of the house. Wow. We're both older than her. True. Mm. Am I supposed to go through here? Well, the front, if you go to the front door, you find it's locked. Oh. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier I when I was 11. So, I figure I should say, no, I haven't seen anything on this game, and he can confirm. Yep, everything about this game, every game that we play pretty much are going to be ones that I've played, but he hasn't, or at the very least, he hasn't. If there are games that he hasn't played, they're probably a solo commentary. Uh, they're the probably going to be the night we left. Solo, uh, uh, solo commentary for, for his side. For the first time in years. 
January 2010. Also, don't be in a rush. You can take it all in. I know. It's, it's, That's the so idea. There's so many little details that you like actually need home. to pay attention. That's the idea. It felt like home to This feels like a home I, like, I visited once. And I don't mean like just some random person's house. I mean like a family member's house. Look behind you. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. If you look behind you on the fridge. So this is a good way to educate you in terms of things. Is that Beloved so you left brother of Edith, during... son of Don, great grandson of Eddie, memorial service. Edith Finch, a cemetery. Or er, Edith er, Finch family cemetery. Twenty-one forty-one. So here's how you can tell who's who immediately. Like Don, Edith, Eddie, Lewis. Oh. So we were making. You can like interact with E, I think. It looks like, like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon, except our cat, Molly. Hmm. That is such a, like, interesting note right there about we're like how a family member worked. to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. That makes sense. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a Be smile with too many teeth. Before you go upstairs, there's a lot of stuff everywhere in the first floor. A lot floor. of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. I can tell. You didn't even clean the place up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, turn it, man. Crank um, it. Hold on. He's getting his mouse ready. I'm trying... Just spin it. Just move it. Circle. Up away. There you go. There we go. I wasn't sure how to do that. Great Grandpa Sven a built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. This is... This is cute. So far, it just looks... Cute. There's something about seeing a modern, like, screen TV... Even the in a very ancient story, house. Edie told me Even the bricks came from the original abandoned, house. I'm going to guess back sank. in 2010. Oh yeah, this is modern day. This was like, oh that's good. I love that. This is Dawn Finch for the living room. Yep. You can feel. Oh. I you... thought this was one of the games where I wouldn't be able to look down. Oh yeah, you can see the key. Yes, I can. And, uh, what was I just saying? Oh, yeah, the... But, yeah, you can just feel the family memories the here. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Of course. Why did we leave? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Well, yeah. So, it look at like this table. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. That is such a line out. Like, this table, you can tell, like, how one of them is... Um, what, both of them have regular Chinese place, but one of them's a kid. And look next to Grandma's chair. Oxygen tanks. Oh, my. Like, I remember when my, um, when my Nana, which is my, my great-grandmother, um, we, she, she was a delight member of the, she was a lovely member of a family. We were here. And we spent, already. we had many memories with her. And I remember during the last, um, few months, it was... Like she was having to have to bring an oxygen tank everywhere she went, and like it was worth the trouble um, to carry it around all around for her. Um, cause we didn't care about having to go through it, but it was still hard to have to see her have Edie to bring, bring that everywhere. That every Finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. How do I get out? You go back. Okay. Yeah. So I just walk in. Okay. Yeah. It's a walk in, walk out. All the eye pieces are like that. And there's even a grandma lifting up chair thing right there. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Dang it. So we gotta find a key and where this fits. No, we have the key. I said, it, and where this fits, and find the key to that. Also, all these books ha have s are just... I, I have yet to have seen a duplicate. Also, 
There's something about the library's entrance that's where it's just stacked with books all around the arts that's just so cool. Like, I want that in my house. Perhaps I just wasn't paying enough attention, or maybe they just did that much detail, but yeah, you're right. I have... You have to look very carefully, but it's very well done. Yeah. That's how you know they wanted to make sure this feels as grounded as possible. So I believe you soaked in everything. Yeah, I know, but... What the heck? You heard that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, because of all the little work, oh, that, all the work they put into everything in this world building kind of house, it's like... It's a walking simulator, but it's the best walking simulator I've ever seen. This is a very good walking simulator. Okay, uh, oh. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm pro I might need a hint here. Well, there's one place you haven't gone yet. Up? Is there an upstairs? You were passing by it several times, sir. Behind I you. can't see, like, right Behind here. You. It's, it is, to be fair, there is sunlight shining on the screen, but it's also dark in the room. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. So that's something very interesting, is that... Oh, you followed the text? They went the... So is that all the rooms are sealed up? But the grandmother was like, no, we have to let them see. So Kelvin died in 1961. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Kelvin. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I did notice that a few of them were sealed off. Steven and Eddie. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. And you're 17, and it, it, I'm going to guess this is probably, what, seven years ago? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. That feels like a movie that must have been somewhere. I, I feel like I my must have heard of it. My friend Bigfoot. Uh, Maybe it's the iconic... Do you have your phone on you? I don't know. I'll have to look it up later. I don't think this is based in actual real, real world, but it's pretty close. It is. And there's Barbara herself. 1960. Oh my gosh, she died when she was 16. Yeah, not good. Oh my god. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Oh. That's gotta suck. She, like, it looks like she built her all... If you looked in that room, it looks like she built her all... Also, you missed the painting behind you. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I did. Katie's father, Odin, built the original house. But, like, it looks like she, like, glorified herself in that whole movie theme, and then it's just like, what do you do with it? Okay. This one... Wow. Ten years. Very long ago. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. Yeah. Come on. Okay. I, I was clicking the buttons again. I forgot it was just E. That's cool. Yeah. This is a cool view. Oh, yeah. This whole house has very... Like so much well designed. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot this, to do that I run. did not do this run yet. Gregory. Gregory, yeah. Oh. Oh my God. What? One year. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Wow. That's so much pink. Well, it looked like a bathroom. Isn't it? Hold on. I don't care if it's a bathroom. That is too much pink. That seems like a, about the right amount of pink to me. A pink room. Pink yeah. bathroom. Yeah, 
Yeah, get a go good here. feel of the layout of this place. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Isn't there a... There's no keyhole. There's no keyhole, no. And just, uh, all the rooms have been... So what? I love how every button you try to press, spacebar, sift, whatever, it just... No, spacebar doesn't okay, work. Not spacebar, but trying to sift or any buttons, it just shift, makes... Shift. It's like... You alt. Like you right want, click. You want to try and like control, do something to move alt. fast. You want to try and like do something to move faster. The game's like, no, take a closer look. Soak it in. Oh, this one's unlocked. I spent unlocked. a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Gosh, the like the atmosphere. I think my atmosphere. mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. <gasps> Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. One of the few famous books I haven't read. I've read quite a lot of famous books. So get ready. Turns yeah. out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Yeah. Uh, Chapter come, one, come, The Runaway Reef. Come, come on. Arr, arr, arr. No, you gradually, like, slowly bring it up. Oh. Uh, I was trying to. I thought it was a pop out. Yeah. Not a. Okay. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. So pay attention to all the different family members and try to remember them all. Like Milton being the one that disappeared and has been like Reading hiding this, in the secret maybe passage. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Continue. Um, but, or like how with the fact that like all these different family members that are all around and how they work around each other. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Uh, that's how you get in. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Look to your left. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Man, Molly's room is so cool. This feels like my what my sister's room used to be like, with all the craftsmanship of different, like, Starfist and sort of like fantasy based creature designs. Molly Fence. December 13, oh, 1947. Gonna read it. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. So you're ready to hear a story? Probably a very sad one. The yeah, sometimes the text dry, glitch, but I glitches. Didn't mind it. Hungry girl. Where do you get food, boy? My Halloween candy was all gone. Smart girl. Can you open the door? No, I'm probably not. Try it. No, not that door. Not that door. I can't see no, Ian. Go Yes, you can't. Go backwards. It's dark in your room, but you can go back. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Yeah. She doesn't care if you're hungry. Neglectful much? I kept eating and eating. Did you ever try this? Yes, it didn't taste very good. I ate a lot of things that night. This is what we did to survive long term. That was half. Uh. You hear that sound? Yeah, it's a bird. Wait a minute. It's not that bird. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Am I gonna eat the fish? I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. 
Good. Christopher's a hero. Oh, There's that's a awesome. Swallow going back to her nest. Oh yeah, it's going back to her nest. How hungry are I you, boy? I fall? And suddenly... I was a cat! Oh. This is a dream, isn't it? You're a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird is really scared. So yeah, all Follow I have to do is look at it and... Assassin's Kitty. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Mom. Mom. We're gonna draw in the actual cats in this house if we keep doing this. Probably. Good thing you don't have it playing through the speaker, otherwise. Yeah. I jumped and I almost got her. I love how your cat sounds so ticked off when it missed. What? I could tell she was getting really tired. What is this? Alice in Wonderland much? Uh, you're going the wrong way, bro. Food's that, not that way. Food's not that way either. Food's that way. I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. How do you know it was a mama bird? Because mama birds are the tastiest. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Gotta listen for the nibbles. Rabbits. Rabbits! Follow the text. To your left. I know. Yeah! Him up and I didn't chew one bit. This feels like a book. Then I flew off to find some. It's probably the idea. Well, this, we are reading this... a book, actually. <laughs> We're yeah. reading a journal. But I mean, like, it feels like one of those kid books that I would. Or, like, those books for kids that I would a once mama read. Rabbit. In school. I had a messed up school, apparently. There we go. You she got the mama rabbit. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Hurt? And suddenly, I was a shark! What the heck? Sharknado! Now it just feels like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. What the heck? You're a shark boy. No, I'm a shark, a shark girl. girl. Rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I love to think what that driver thought. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. How hungry are you? Very. I wanted fat, juicy seeds. What? I thought. Oh, don't tell me it's inverted. It's not inverted. It's all first person. I really like the music in this. By the way, people, the music in this game. Hang on. I tore off her flipper and it tasted real oh good. Oh my god. Yeah, it's horrible, right? It's an innocent little girl, just it's like. But yeah, like, um. 
for the music in this game, guys, it's composed by the same guy who composed the music of Unfinished Swan, and the developers of this game also made Unfinished Swan. So I highly recommend checking out Unfinished Swan if you guys haven't, because that's also a very wonderful game. Exclusive to PlayStation, but still wonderful. All right, you bit off its tail. How do you find it now? Follow the blood. It's juicy blood. So hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Again. What are you? What? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. That text isn't good enough to eat. Should be. Da, 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 da. This music reminds me of Bioshock Infinite. How hungry are you? I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yes, ah! Pretty hungry. I ate the beef. I ate through my beak. You can't even tell what you are. I love it. No, I'm an octopus. Are you? I'm are you an sir? octopus or a squid? Uh, that's not the way. I will tell you right now, there's no, like... There's, there, there's very few, like, secrets for going the wrong way. There's lots of little... Aside from, like... The, like war I details maybe stop, but like but also I did it. Get out of here. Welcome to little nightmares also I guess. Sorry, guy, I think you meant food. I, I saw another food. Good. Good, whatever the heck you are. I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Now it's just pitch black. Okay, there we go. I slithered onto the sand. And the good smell went into an old pipe. Then she slivered and sliding away, mess peculiar all around the whole pipe. I don't know how to quote Grinch. Shh. Just let me eat. Ugh. Just let me eat. Coming right out of a toilet. Uh. Huh. Okay, there we go. Are you floating? Oh wait, no, you're just stuck on top of the- there you go, you're good. <laughs> I got closer and closer. How hungry are you? All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. That kid is a really smart writer. 
I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. It kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Oh, I just noticed. Dude, I played this game multiple times. I just noticed the octopus. It ate her! I think it's more a reference to her dreams. Like, she might have asked her parents to get her that as part of it, and... But then why is he dead? I, it might be a symbolism thing. I also, don't know. you couldn't hear it behind you. There's a cat. And a shark. <laughs> A piece of Molly still here. Actually, do you want to know what that was? That was Molly. Their this cat. Will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Remember, they have a cat so, named Molly as when well. When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh right, I gotta stop explaining lore. This game will explain it all. Mm -hmm. Any questions you have, I should explain at the end. I spent yeah. a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. I know, right? Robert is stelting his head down, holding his head down in like, oh my gosh. Disappointment, in a sense. Because I, I know that this is supposed to be like... My mom. When Edie and, told and, and, people Sven was killed by a dragon... She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. So she could have, but she didn't. So that's something very important to know: is that right there, Edie, um, your grandmother could have um, told about how her husband Sven Gregory, or not Sven, just not Gregory, just Sven, had when he um, when Sven passed away. Like, he died building a giant dragon slide, and you could One actually summer, see it in the front lawn the if you looked around. But Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> I refuse to go because of a little forest fire. You should do that grandma voice all the time. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Are you sure about that, dearie? Oh, mole man. You can just look at it. To your left. Little dots. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. So your grandma likes to get that attention, um, like just to spread the word about how of all these stories about dragons and mole men. Gosh, that's just... You see pill bottles Edie like that, and you a just pair of gloves every oh. year, just in time to replace the old ones. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Every time you, whenever you see like those little square pill containers, you just immediately feel like this is real life. This is very much real life. Whoops, I forgot. I hit Q Louis instead died of. A week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. That's actually really good. Yeah. Just making morals, mem bleh. memories. Yeah. Her room was like a museum. Okay. We ready? It's Odin, way back in the 1800s. Oh my God. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune, and misfortune. Click. Oh. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse: his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house. He put a house on a boat! Because the old things are like little sliders. You moved the, at least from what the ones that I've interacted with, there were like two little sliders and they held two different images and you had to move them at pretty much the same time uh, to simulate the eye and create a 3D image or at least a Somewhat 2D image. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. 
Man. But is this the significance of the book? No, this is a true story, dude. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh. So there's the backstory of how this all started. So everyone has their Whatever's own way of telling the story. Family, it goes back a long ways. Ingeborg. So Odin was the start of it all. Ingeborg. That was probably a really bad. Hold. It's really cool that you get to like move the cam um like move the mouse to close so the books. They're Norwegian then. I believe there was something else behind you that you missed on the desk. Behind you. Behind you. On this desk. Oh, I was wrong. I was horribly, horribly wrong. I might still be. I'm I mean, this is just cool. Oh, yeah, those are family hands. It's a big family. Oh, I can't look through the people. Nope. I just realized, too. When you have more oxygen tanks. Huh? Oh, those are slippers. Yeah. Some articles. Someone's under origami and... Oh. Deepest sympathies, because when Sen passed away, mm -hmm. or is that I can't tell who that is actually. Yeah, and I can't interact with it. So. Um, let's just say it's Sen, because that probably makes sense with all. That probably be for Sven. Sometimes Edie oh. seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, it's too pink. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kayla, from the house was the This is the perfect amount of pink. This is the perfect amount of pink. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in the bathroom. By Sven and Edie. Well, they made a book. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta get your hand ready. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. That's... That's really cool. The fact that Sven went all through this trouble... Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. I was about to say, this looks Never like a uh, red room. You know about red rooms, Ian. Yeah, but no, but I mean, the fact that Sven... Um, that Sven built this house and went through all this trouble to go through all these crazy contraptions for his family like Sven is amazing yeah get lower Milton again Milton's pretty much gone in every secret compartment, I guess. A couple turns land into native ha haven. Early work on something. Mm. Oh, we're into the the brothers' room now. Yep. Kelvin and he probably locked this off so that he didn't I knew have to. Sam had a twin. Kelvin and Sam. And that he never talked about him. I just look around this room for a moment. Yeah. Not, like not there, not there. But I wanted to check here. Not there. Trust me. Like look everywhere. Like soak it in. Soak in all the dull details. This place room is amazing, and I wish I had this bedroom. Samuel Finch. Mm -hmm. So you're on Sam's side, obviously. Mm -hmm. The one that wasn't locked off. Sam was a super the, military This boy. I know is true. Sam was super military boy. I can tell. But after all. He was a smoker. 
Probably why he passed away. So no soon. real time, Joker. That's the second book. He owns two of the same book. Oh, there's the duplicates. We're spotting them. Developers, you're getting lazy. <laughs> but it makes sense at least. Yeah. This one makes sense at least. I can imagine someone as crazy as he was getting the same book just because. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you want that, and he might have. It would have been a bit easier to put it in this bookshelf. Yeah. But I can ima uh, I can imagine him getting a second copy and uh, keeping it on his side. So oh, that that's awesome! Brother... You can see like the rubber, those sucking dark guns. But, like I can imagine him getting a second copy of the book for his brother, even though he's not there. Like, hey, if you ever wanted to read about it, because it's a good read. Ah, uh, you're fine. Go ahead. I'm really curious about this. The Ian. very hungry caterpillar. But you don't have to go just yet, because there's still much to learn about this place. Yeah. But that's awesome. The father made this crazy thing for his sons of Kelvin and Sam. But. Oh, don't go through there. I know, I'm not, but oh, she, um, like, it automatically forces me into like, it. Like, Edith just decides, like, I want to try and look. Yeah, alright. Sam's fort right is here. also super, Kelvin's fort is super cool, too. Let's go ahead I and guess look. my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. The paint, now you're in space, dude. Like, the paintings around you, the wall painted, like, space and everything. This is so cool. It's also like it's better than a treehouse, even. It's also kind of sad. It's also sad, but. How I want to remember my brother, by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Yep. Yep. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Two brothers hanging out. Funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I he like how this is just a swing scene. To fly. Much as I liked uh, Molly's scene, I didn't really. Come, coffee, dinner, buddy. Coming. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Is he gonna jump? I told him going around was impossible. No. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. You're still alive. Did you ever try doing this, Ian? Once. I actually did do it once. <laughs> the day he made it was mine to fly. And he did. That didn't happen to me. I can tell. But... Yeah. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. So I wanted to be quiet during that moment because that was one of the scariest ones for me. So... I have a fear of dropping myself. If that happened, I would be terrified the second I started swinging past the... past the... Uh, fence. Okay. Yeah. All right. You could choose to split up these. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Then we just unroped it. Yeah. Yeah. But that was the idea. You want to sort of find out more about your family's history. And like right away, you can also tell oh that Calvin's gosh. the one that died early. Yeah. You can't look through the peepholes in reverse. 
Sometimes it can. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Yep. So Sam went straight to the war to try to escape, I guess. Afterwards. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, you can open that door first. That's a shortcut. You can just... No, no, no. Go back. No, I want to see detail for this. Oh, look. Milton's more, more Milton's drawings. Milton's been everywhere. Yet somehow he's gone missing. He probably went Growing through this. Up, as... I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Hold on. I want to check that out before oh, I check now it. you want to go back and open the shortcut. No, I just wanted to see where, what that. This is just a shortcut, dude. Is it just a shortcut? It's just a short. I told you it was a shortcut. Oh, it's a shortcut over here. Okay. What do you think I meant when I said shortcut? I thought you meant a shortcut into that room. No. Like, where I wouldn't have to crawl. Oh my gosh. You're opening up shortcuts like Dark Souls. Yes. Looks like she got... Well, her acting must have been really good, but... It's almost like she hit her prime time as a child. Sort of like, uh... Like, like she peaked. What was the one child like, star? Uh... Shirley Temple, I think it is. Yeah, but it's, like, it's almost like she peaked at that age. Must have been for her afterwards. Yeah, I mean, this room also looks like the most cl um, cramped out of all of them, which is not good for someone as a like growing it. teenager. You can pause it. Yeah, pausing. Also, that's a cool little detail. Your book is actually your pause menu. Funny that the, uh, besides Edith, uh, Walter was the. No, nope. uh, Lewis is. I guess it's up to Edith to continue the family, I guess? Who's K? Is that like a planned child or something? So she, just like Milton, are really good. Oh, Dawn. If I'm to assume this game came out in 2017, then Dawn uh, passed away the soonest. She was the last death on this chart. Improv night. Oh. She resorted to improv. I mean, some studios will go, hey, you're that child star. I'll give you a chance in this world, but a lot of the times they'll take... There's something about the environment of this room that feels like the most unhealthiest out of all of them. Because you're surrounding yourself with expectations that people have for you that you need to keep up. I actually know a friend who's very similar, Ian. That is a very true thing. Oh, there it is. Oh. Dreadful Stories, guest starring Barbara All the Finch. stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Because I think this would have been what she would have actually... Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. Get ready. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. I feel like I'm actually... Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, current. was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention mm. comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. 
What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police oh no! Residents to... That came from the basement. You're right! Also, I love right. your delivery on that. Not Why great is your basement delivery. door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Ah. I'll be back in a sec. That's why the that's why the secret uh, shortcut was there. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Wait. Reach for the music box. I was like, that. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh. Don't worry about copyright. I'm not. I'm more sad that they decided to go for this. This she music. Found Rick's clutch and imagine the worst. This feels like Goosebumps games. Like the art style. <gasps> Physics! Hold on, can I? This Aww, has, I. This has combat. You cannot play pool. Dude, something horrible could have happened. You need to know. You need to see if he's okay. He probably just the set this whole thing up. Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Or she's about to get a heart attack. This is the only time I think you'll ever get physics in the game, so you'll enjoy it. I am enjoying it. Can yeah. you not see? Source engine! Actually, I don't know what engine this was built on. I think Unreal. Hmm. Also, it's really dark, but it was right behind you. Right, right down that way, yeah. There it is. Oh. Okay. I love how it oh, takes so long. Rick? It took so Barb, long to hit him. Relax. I was just I trying didn't. to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. So late. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Look at this house. It's so different now. Like, it looks new, almost. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's good. Describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Uh oh! Barbara turned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> The question is, how would he, with the Barbara, artist, get this correctly? How would he what? Uh, how would the artist get this? Like, 100% like correct. That night, she played her part beautifully. Well, there were witnesses. I 
I've been defeated. But she sensed the story might not be over yet. Uh, I have a feeling that that's one of our family members. Of course he's gone. Listen for his breathing, but all she heard was. I just noticed his Halloween decorations too. You very, just did? Very fitting. I was dying to speak to young Barbara. Don't you answer the door. So I have to. At the door. She heard whispering. Was coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. What could it be, Robert? What could it possibly be? You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara This was obviously just... Uh, this part was... ...of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, I want to read more of your so comic skeleton of Jack o Lantern Man. Of course the police I do too actually. Uh, I want to see if there's like an actual night. And little Walter hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real ear. Eerie tale. <laughs> this just feels like a comic version of Tales from the Crypt. Oh. Which. Actually, it does have a comic series. No, but I, no, I was talking about. I was just reacting to the year. Edie told mm -hmm. me all Barbara wanted I know you were, to be remembered. But... As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I love how it's the most so unclear as to what the heck even happened to her because she actually was never found. All right, so. All right, I think that's a pretty. I think Spoopy way to end this one. No. We will see you, Jacko, later. No. I'm going to keep up with these skeleton puns. <laughs> Papyrus, get out of here. Ah, I've been foiled once again. Also, isn't the pun your, uh... Isn't the pun your brother's stick? I will refuse to acknowledge it. All right. I will see you all later, guys. Anything to say, Robert? Next up, Undertale? No, I'm joking. We will not do Undertale because that game is... I can't think of a skeleton pun. Help me out here. It... I got nothing. <laughs> I'm, so... I'm sorry. Uh... No. Uh... I don't know if we'll actually be doing Undertale. There's no plans as of right now, but uh, just to plant it in your head, I have not finished Undertale. I started playing through it, but I did not get past Undyne's fight. Skeletons!